Hello, welcome to this video of Radio 2, no laws, no methods or secret tutorial. Today is going to be about Floating Island, one of our hardest levels and most stressful, right after Xi'an, I know, right? So let's go. First of all, what you want to do is you don't want to step on this tile, which is the first tile in front of you. So the reason is you will trigger a jet secret guy, which is going to spawn around here. Yeah, he's here. And you will save time ammo and stress because this guy can be annoying so you want to avoid this guy trigger and it's pretty easy to do that what you need to do is just go here and just run around this tile slide on here and just keep the trigger and you're good so yeah th and then you won't hear of this guy ever again so that's cool then you jump here step back to be sure to make the next jump and do a running jump and if you want, you can lay grab or flare console, and you will be here. So that's pretty good. If you want to do it fast, you can do something like this. But if you don't do it right, there is a chance that you fall, and it's actually really easy to. But anyway, what's, that's where you want to go. You want to jump here, and if you are not confident, you can climb here, and then just drop down here just do a fake grab here and you're good you are inside this place or what you can do is well you redo all this blah 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 oops well that, that's what i was talking about and here you will lose a ton of health so you can still make it but you obviously <laughs> will have to be really careful so let's, let's just go for it save because I'm bad. Or you can just do this jump, which is pretty easy. So just you can set it up as well, but you don't really need to. Just jump here and you're good. Just don't try to cut the corner. If you try to cut the corner, things are gonna might get bad. Something like this, for example. Well, sometimes you will enter into the corner and it still won't work. So. Just don't try to cut the corner here, it's important. And yeah, you're inside. I know there is another way, but I don't remember which one, and this is pretty easy. So, yep, just, just do that, and you're good. And yeah, pull that lever. It's gonna open the, the, red, thing, the red thing, and here, you <coughs> don't want to go down like <coughs> you don't want to go down here sorry and redo the intended way and jump well you can kill that guy blah 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 and go here blah 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 you can just what you can just do is for a slight damage i'm not even sure you will take damage oops if you um If you grab here okay you do but you do slight damage okay so just jump on this slope here grab or not if you don't grab that's gonna happen you will lose a bit more damage but it's, it's fine and yeah you you can grab and step back and you can see that the damage is really minimal so it's really worth in my opinion and yeah, you could go if you don't want to lose damage, you can just fall here. Well, not like I just did, but yeah. And kill that guy and then make that jump, but I don't like that jump, personally. But you can and you won't lose any damage. So that's good. But this jump is, is really bad. Yeah, like <coughs> it's really easy to miss it. And there is a lot of tricky jump in this level, so yeah. Just watch roughly here and do a running jump. But I don't like it, so I'm not gonna go further into it. And I never do it really, so I'm not expert of this jump. So yeah, you can just also step back by and use a flare. Also, you skip this guy trigger that you trigger with, uh, with going on the slopes there behind me. So yeah, that's bad. Anyway, can flare console and step back, please, Lara. Give me the camera back, thank you. And then just do a running jump. You will end on the thing if you are not as bad as me and here 
<coughs> once you pick up the item, <coughs> you can do a walk around jump. And if you do it right, well, that's that's was done wrong. So if you just do a normal walk around jump, it won't be good far enough, and you don't want to grab here. Grabbing is is not the answer for this because you generally will fall. I'm not even sure you can make it with grabbing. What you want to do is you want to delay slightly your walk around jump, and that's going to happen. So just start. And if you press jump immediately, you can't make it. But if you just delay slightly, when she starts running, it will it will be going good. So what you want to do is you want to press um, walk on forward. She will stop pressing walk. And when she's starting running, you press jump. So look at my input if you're not satisfied. Also curve a bit when you walk to be sure. Because if you don't turn, that's going to happen. So turn a bit left, and that's going to work. So here, here, here I think my walk-around jump is broken. That's why it didn't work. Oops. Okay, so. Because I reloaded too much or something. So yeah, up like this. And you can even keep, keep running if it was a good one or not. If you're scared about that, just set it up. Just step back here and do a running jump. And you're good. And then here there is a trigger for a guy on the whole island, so you can't really go around us around these, so you're gonna have to fight them. First there is a speed runway that I'm gonna show quickly, but I'm gonna advise you to not do it. So, so you need to climb quickly here. So you just do two running jumps, one to get on the island, a second one here. You need to climb quickly here. If you don't climb quick enough, he's gonna hit you, like this. And then just prepare a flare, con a flare and you're gonna roll here to get the cracker immediately. And then you're gonna do a fake grab here, and you're gonna jump back to this island, here. And then shoot the guys. And you have to know that sometimes the guy that already triggered is going to be on the way, so you want to be careful about that. It's pretty, pretty RNG. It's faster, but you don't really want to be fan of that. It's just for speed. If you just are casual, you just standing jump here, backflip here, and kill this guy from distance. So it's gonna take around 40 bullets, and you're good to go. And then you climb here don't step on this step yet just take everything you want so there's flare here med pack don't care obviously and there are uses here double pick up i think yep get a flare here and we're gonna do the same thing so i saw some people triggering the guy and then went wait here for them to pass for like 10 minutes you can do that but i i really don't recommend that because that's that's really really long trust me you need to wait to get a lock and eventually you will but it it, it might take forever so yeah you, you want to avoid that what, what i recommend to do is you don't pick up the thing yet, you just get back here and just jump here. So as you can see, you have time to walk to the edge and set it up with a standing jump. Just don't pick up the item, just do a fake grab here, up. If you can, you can jump, you have to do a running jump from roughly here and you will be able to make that jump. So there is this, oops, let me show you. So there is this kind of step here for the last tile here. You need to jump just before that. If you jump after, that's gonna happen. So yeah, just trigger it. If I grab four or five step and you jump and you will be here and you will be able to kill that guy pretty safely and fast compared to staying inside the house.
So that's that's how you do it. And then you come back and pick up the cracker. And if you want, you can pick up the items if you didn't yet. So that's good. And then you go here, you need to jump on this tile here, which is pretty easy, not gonna go further about that. And pick up the Jade Secret. So we're pretty cool, one secret, and yeah, I think it's, yeah. To, where is this stone Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. So then you can do the Divin and Dwell, and you can do make that jump. I'm gonna explain quickly a setup, but I'm not gonna go further with that jump. So roughly you need to make that jump. I'm not gonna, gonna show the setup after. So that's what you need to do. You can see you lose minimal health. Save 10, 10 to 15 seconds. To make it, what I personally recommend is use the setup, just sl slide down here. Sidestep, uh, sidestep once, sorry. Slide down on the very side. Walk forward, sidestep once, step back. Jump holding left, so don't back flip jump and when she's in the air start pressing left and then do a running jump and grab late really late and you're gonna make it you're gonna lose a bit more health but you're gonna make it almost every time if you grab late so that's what i recommend doing again slide on here forward sidestep left once step back jump holding backward and then grab really really late and you're good to go so I'm not gonna go past that because that's that's not worth on the laws generally if you are casual and even if you don't want to just do that jump you can just go here get down here be careful you can't you can't fake grab here because of a high of a ceiling fake grabs only works if the ceiling is high enough where you go here it's not the case so be careful and you go down here, pull that lever, and go here, and you're in the same spot as what you will be if you do the jump. So, yeah. As you can see, the time loss is not that big. Then go here, if you start to jump from here, you will... Oh, it works for some reason. You will generally slide down, like this. So just be, like, be on the right and standing jump here. Important thing that you can set up directly by doing a jump here. The next jump, the next jump you can just obviously do. You can just walk here. I'm gonna save because I don't want to redo the previous part. Step back and running jump and grab like this. Or you can just when you step when you jump from here, you can just jump here. You're gonna get here. Then old. Um, walk on back and she will move slightly forward like this so it's pretty much like the venice uh m-man jump after the curve jump so that's basically the same thing and then you do a running jump and grab and you're good so that's two way of doing it if you want to yolo it what i recommend you is you will you don't want to yolo that jump first because this is a real bad jump but you just jump as late as you can and you grab late and that's pretty much the only tip I can give you because you will, if you want to YOLO it, you will have different positions depending of how you did the previous jump and etc. So what you want to do is you just want to jump here, one, two, uh, two and a half step and grab late and you're good to go. Don't grab early because generally grabbing early will result in a fail if you, be, if you don't set it up. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Then... You can go the Devon Tended Way, which is going here, stepping back, stepping down here, making that jump here. So you set it up, obviously, because that's going to happen. And so just go here, here, blah, 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 set up your jump and grab and you're good. Oops. Or what you can do is you can also make that jump. So. I'm not sure I can make it here. Yeah, you can also make it from here. If you just climb and do a running jump and grab. And you climb. Or what you can do as well is this. And you don't need to grab and it saves a bit of time. So how do you do that? It's pretty simple. You just 
step here and because you will be high enough you can make the jump and here so you have to know that it's really easy to mess it something like this for example it won't work so you have to be high enough you have to be high enough and jump far enough from far enough to be able to make it if you are scared what you can do is you can just climb here just after you climb here you on the very left generally just go forward once climbing the step turn here and do a running jump and you will make it if not just go dive intended or do this it's, it's fine and then you may that jump which is pretty easy you climb here and you're good you have your two crackers and you can go to the second part of the level so just go casually like this just set up your jumps nicely what i used to set up this jump is i go here on the right of the tile and just sidestep sidestep right to be sure i'm against the 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 step and then i have the right spot to just do a running jump here like this if you decide to yolo that jump somehow uh, you will have to grab late like the previous jump that i mentioned because if you don't there is a high chance that you won't make it so just be careful about that if you don't like the step strat you can just go here step back do running jump grab and you're good just be sure to be really forward like facing forward not like this really facing forward compared to the platform because if not there is a chance that you won't make it without grabbing light anyway then go to the cracker on the right and use it so the reason you go on the right one first is you don't need to menu so it's a bit faster and use the second one and you're good and then we are, there are three ways of doing the next part well first of all we need to pick up the stone secrets so you go on the right here up so just standing jump here and you're good if you're if you're fast enough just wait for the guy that is gonna come here there's a guy that is gonna come here just shoot him and pick up the stone secret before or after doesn't really matter oops and yeah then you have to come back and here there are three ways of getting down to the bridge under under us so this is the bridge we want to go here so let's see first there is the i don't know if it's intended way probably it's probably the intended way <laughs> i don't know you need to go here so you're gonna jump over that boulder up you're gonna slide down and you're gonna do this so i don't recommend i saw people doing like doing that jump here that jump here immediately back flipping to avoid the second boulder and i saw for some reasons sometimes they will die crushed by the boulder because they jump too early or something 100% ways to just do this do standing jump and and standing jump here on the side be sure to be on the side or it's not gonna work so you just slide down do immediately a standing jump on the left here to be against the wall and just do a standing jump like this and you won't get hit by the boulder so this is the first way first of all um, well this is the first part to go where you want to so slide down be sure to be on the left and immediately do this and it's gonna work if you really want to do the backflip strat uh, you can do it but i have no idea what are the conditions that you die or not so yeah just do like this and like this and sometimes for some reason i died trying to do that i remember so yeah anyway those are the two ways and then you're good um i think i think let me see actually i don't think you can actually outrun the boulders let me see
yeah, you cannot do this. That's what I was thinking about. So yeah. Also, you you might be able to do something like that as well if you want. Like you slide down here, and you're gonna do uh, this trick. I will show later. I will just show it, but I will explain it later. You can do this trick, and you made it without triggering the border. So that's also an option. And then you can make that jump, sending it up, climb here, and you're good. Um, you can do this, or you can also avoid the climbing by doing it from here. If you do it from here and you aim to the tile, you will be able to do it without grabbing. So that's also a thing. If you're not confident, you can even do it from here. You can even jump from here. And jump directly to the uh, to the slope and grab the edge and climb to be really sure to make it. And then you use the, the zip line, so you need to stop at the right time. What is the right time? I have no idea because I've never done that. But it's... It, ooh, that was gross. But the window is pretty big as far as I remember. Just like this. And when you see that Lara is on the bridge, just stop and you're good. So just practice it. I don't have really any visual points for you. I just let go when I feel like it. You can just watch the, the inputs and when exactly I stop pressing and you will see that the window is pretty big. But yeah, I don't, I never done that really, except in my childhood probably, so. But it, it, it's pretty easy. And then you're on a bridge. So that's the first way of making it to the bridge. Second way second way is consistent you lose a bit of damage but it's consistent like really slight so you're gonna slide on on this slope here like this grab the edge go to the very left and do this and you're good so as you can see you lose a bit of health but it's way faster and it's consistent so that's maybe what you want so yeah just just be sure to not slide on here because that can be very dangerous. Just stand here, roll to slide the, this way to be able to grab the edge, go on the le very left, let go and just press jump and you will make it. You can fly a console here if you want. So this is the second part, nothing too much to explain, just, oops, okay. I almost made a mistake, so yeah. Just go to very left. The reason you go to very left is that you will less, lose less damage. And you make it. You made it. So that's that was really easy. And the last way of doing it is this one. So that looks more dangerous, but you lose less health and it's pretty okay. So to explain to you, you can yellow it as well if you want, but yeah. So you just you can just roughly go here and you're gonna do a running jump twist from here jump go on left to land here on this slopey uh, slopey ceiling <coughs> and you will land here and you need to do just a fake grab and you're good to go well you you actually just have to press grab because you have to fake grab here you can't grab the edge but yeah so running jump on this slope here doesn't matter if it's here or here it will just interfere if, if you need to just tap left like this situation here or if you need to actually curve left so if you aim here if you aim to the to this place of the slopes you need to actually go left like this <coughs> and you're good and if you go left enough you won't lose any health but it's a bit more dangerous i think so yeah just go as much left as you can grab before hitting the bridge because it's important because um if you don't press grab i think you will stumble here okay you won't stumble but you will see that it's really close from not being good far enough so just be sure to grab and yeah just jump twist here jump grab and grab again and you're good 
So that's pretty much it about that. That's that's pretty much the YOLO way to do this bridge jump and it's consistent. So why not try? Anyway, practice the one you want and you're good to go. You can also fly a console here, obviously. And here is the ambush. Well, it's not really an ambush. Is it an ambush? Well, I don't care, whatever. So you're gonna have to kill the first guy. You can use Uzis or um, or M16, two are possible. So the trigger tile is the, is the next line, so it's this line here. So what you're going to do is simple, you're going to draw your guns before, and you're going to trigger it and shoot it. Step back a couple of times and you don't need to go on the bridge or whatever, you just wait and he's gonna die, like this. M16, he dies a bit before, so it's even better. Just don't step back because you're gonna stop shooting, obviously. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And next trigger of these two guys is pulling the lever and you don't want to fight them. Like really, you don't want to fight them. I saw a lot of people trying to fight them and losing damage and etc. I'm not a fan of that because you're gonna be likely to be hit. Actually, can you not be hit? Let me check something. So yeah, you will be likely to be hit, even if you step back a lot. So you can do something like this, but you, you can avoid completely the fight. Because the reason is you don't need... Uh, you don't need to go to the zip... Well, you can do, could go to the zip line directly, if you're good enough. Do something like that, and get to the zip line quickly, and make it before they come to you. But generally... You don't want that because you're under pressure, and if you miss it, if you miss the zip line, it's really bad. <laughs> what you want to do, what I recommend to do, is something like that. Oops, didn't pull the lever. You pull the lever, jump twist, do ring jumps here, do a ring jump twist here, and you will slide down this direction. Climb here, and do another jump twist and grab, and you will make it every time. And you have a lot of time to make it without before the guys actually um, get to you. So you can even do it like this. Just take your time here and just roll. And you just grab the edge here, climb, immediately press forward and roll. Oh, uh, forward and roll. Jump and roll. You will do a twist and you grab and you're good to climb here. And you don't need to fight those guys. So save ammo, save health. Safe stress, it's consistent, and it's really nice. So I recommend doing that personally. <clears throat> I know I recommend a lot of things. You can try whatever you want, but you will realize that this try is probably the most efficient. It's the fastest. It's one of the fastest, and it's actually the the best to not lose health and etc. So yeah, just just do that. Then you climb here. To be sure to make the next jump, you can climb one click. You don't need to, but you, you need to, you need to be here. You need to be one click on the bottom. Uh, you need to be, to be one click lower than this, than this part here. So, and then you can make the jump safely. Here, there is a chance that you will stumble depending of where you jump from, but you can still make it sometimes. Anyway, you can jump or you can make it s safely like this, and just do like this, but slower and it's yeah but if you want to do it do it then you can either go down on flare console like this you will lose slight health but really slight as you can see or you can just go like this shimmy left and you're good nothing to say about that not gonna explain anything and then you climb here and you're good so here we're gonna make the jump I showed you previously with a boulder thing. So here there are two ways of there are actually three ways of doing going to the zip line. So you can actually go the dev intended way like this, just climb here and go back here. And now you're gonna have to face the the boulders. 
If you did it already, you're not gonna have to, obviously. Up like this. Up. Just up like this. And go to the zip line like I showed you. So you can do it like this if you want to YOLO. Oops. Or what you can do is you can also jump over this like I just showed you and you skip the trigger so I will show you how you have to be you have to be sh aware that you can die I'm gonna try to show you if you do something like well not something like that but here it worked but you can die by doing something like this like this if you don't care enough and yeah you, you have to know that you can what I personally do is I curve enough so I'm sure to be, I'm curved left enough so I'm sure to be on the platform. It's more likely that you're gonna miss, but it's less likely that you're gonna die. So you have to choose the right middle. So what I do is I do a jump twist from here, one, two, three steps, and I just aim there. So if you aim too much forward, if you aim too much forward, that's gonna happen. So that's why you don't want to do that. You don't want to go forward to, to go over it. You want to be diagonal. But if you are too much diagonal, that's gonna happen. So you have to find the, ri the, the right middle. The right middle is to just jump roughly like this and generally it will happen. So it's, it's, it's not 45 degrees. So for example, let's say this is zero degree, this is 90 degree. It's not exactly 45 degrees but it's, it's close to it it's a bit less than 45 you want to aim a bit more left than right because if you aim too much right the reason if you aim too much right you might fall here so you want to aim a bit less than 45 degrees and yeah what i personally do is i just do is jump twist here one two three and yeah if if i if I stumble here, generally it won't work, but here for some reason it worked. But yeah. What did I just trigger? Oh yeah, okay, never mind. <coughs> Thought I triggered a boulder. <laughs> so yeah. One two, I generally jump one two and a half step actually, not three. So did I yeah, I loaded the right one. So one two and a half. Well even two works, but yeah. And then I do this. If you don't want to do it, that's understandable. Don't worry. Uh, just one thing, you can also make it by standing jump. So if you're like this and you standing jump like this, you can also make it like this. And just have to be careful to not do it. Oops. Well, no need to reload here. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's reload. <laughs> so just be sure you don't make it like this you're gonna die so you need to you, you need to hit the top of a place and be able to roll off the edge like this if you don't if you don't curve enough that you that happens but you don't die so that's good you can retry again just try roughly like this and turn and you will be able to roll off the edge like this and curve left so this is also another alternative you don't want to do it by running jump just go wherever you want here and just drive young girls and do like this and until it works it's better to aim more left than more than too much right as i said because you're not gonna die you're not gonna die if you face too much left that can happen if you face too much right and yeah anyway you can do you can do this like this and you can fly a console when you land obviously that's generally what i do also there is another alternative you don't have to come back there you can also do something like this just jump twist like, oops, not jump twist, sorry. Just go here, do a standing jump, tapping left a bit, and you will be in that situation to redo the pull dot trick again. So this is another way. Slightly slower, but it's pretty efficient if you are not afraid of a boulder thing. Just be sure to face the right direction. Like, don't, don't face this direction. Because you will have to, that, that is likely to happen. So just be sure you face 
you face left like this and then do this anyway do this jump here and go here <coughs> and go to the zip line so you have to know that because you didn't kill the, the first guys before the guys before they might eat you on the bridge here these guys if you're unlucky it's really rare like one on eight one or ten or something at, at max but it can happen it, it it won't make you go out of a zip line don't worry you're not gonna die or whatever as long as you press um, grab but you might be it one time so be careful about that so about the zip line you can go all the way through like this which is the normal unintended way so like exactly what i said so exactly like i said so you can go here like this and then go back here what you have to know is that oh you stumble here okay i didn't know that <laughs> thought the i thought the hitbox of the door would help me so you you learn every day right so if you go all the way through what you have to know is that you trigger uh, an extra i'm not even sure what it's called here those things here braid thrower or whatever <laughs> not sure what it's called but yeah you trigger an extra one here but you wouldn't if you stopped before that's the only difference it's a bit slower as well but you can stop earlier with zipline avoiding triggering that you want you can stop here if you want you can stop here so same it's i don't have any visual i just do it by feeling so don't give you any visual just see when i stop pressing grab and you will see but it's pretty uh pretty big window i try to make it to the maximal here but it, i went too far but you will see that the window is pretty okay to stop letting go of grab so look at my inputs to be sure to know when you, have to, you can press um, you can stop pressing grab and practice it and you will see it's not that bad if you don't want to take risks at this point of a run it's normal you can just go all the way through what may, wh what is good about that um, about that about being here is that you can directly jump here so that's actually pretty okay um, what else did I want to say uh, yeah that's pretty much it sorry so then you can go pull the lever directly of a, to make the block fall here then jump here and get down and you can shoot that guy if you want or if you are fast enough you don't need to kill him but I still recommend killing him if you're casual so what you have to know is that there is a second guy trigger on this tile here so if you just want to not trigger the guy just don't just don't use it just don't step on that tile specific tile and you're good uh, i'm not sure you can fall like this let me see uh, i think you lose damage if you fall here yeah you lose slight damage if you fall like this if you don't want to lose damage you can just oops come on you can just fall here up be sure to be on the very left here and just do a stunning jump here and you're good to go and go pull the lever so that's the first way of if you come from the if you come from the first place so what i recommend what i recommend to do is just go like this like this pull the lever get your m16 ready jump here and drop and if you're fast enough you can go directly if you're too scared you can just kill uh, kill the guy before then i jump here pull the lever 
and I come back, I will explain to you after how. Just climb back here, and you can kill him here, or you can climb again and keep going. And I will show you the whole thing, and you will see that you have plenty of time to make it. You can even set it up, you have all the time in the world under this. And you didn't kill the guy. If you. So, this is uh, the way I would do it if. If I wanted to stop here, if you don't stop here and go all the way through, I'm not sure you will have the time, but yeah. So just go here, climb here, you don't really need that block, it's not necessary. If you're here, you have to know that if you press forward and grab, she won't climb. You have to press jump and grab. So it, it's the reverse of the Bartoli hideout trick. Pull that lever, get down again. And here, maybe wait? No. Well, you can wait and kill him or do the same thing. Then it's pretty much the same thing as previously, it's just... So, that's generally gonna happen if you do this, if you do this route with letting go before. So here, just do like this and you will, you will have all the time in the world to kill him. And you're good. So yeah. Oh, actually, never mind. It's, it's not actually this specific tile I showed you earlier. It's actually the whole line here. So if you jump in that area, it will trigger. Okay, never mind. And then you go all the way and you keep going. So I'm gonna explain everything. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna kill them before. So. So. Just gonna kill this guy before. Okay, so let's save here. So wherever you come came from, you can also make it it's a bit faster to actually get here and jump here and climb, but there is a blade thrower or whatever it's called and it might be deadly sometime if you're really unlucky so what i recommend to do is just dump here just jump and climb then you pull the lever blah 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 and you just jump on this slope here grab the edge you fall down like i said stand step on the very left do a standing jump here Fake uh, late grab if you want to have a, f a, f a fall, uh, fake stumble. Pull the lever, and you can just step back, sidestep right a bit. And here you can make the jump like this. You don't need to grab. You can grab if you're not safe, but you don't have to. S standing jump again. You can climb again here. And climb here. Back twist, and here is uh, uh -huh. an M16 ammo. So, if you want it, you can take it. You should have enough M16 ammo with all the secrets you got. So, here we have 500, so yeah, more than enough. Here, you just go to the edge, step back, undo a running jump dive in the right direction. So, you can see it's pretty big opening. Just running dive jump or a late grab as you want, but running dive jump is classier. I guess. <laughs> and yes, we good. Get to that lever. Come back. And we're ready to do the final part of this level. So now you want to climb here. So if you triggered, if you went all the way through with a zip line, you will see that the f the, the the blade thrower are not activated, it's because I didn't go all the way through. So here you would have to avoid uh, um, a, a, a blade or whatever it's called. So yeah, pull that lever to stop the, the big blaze here. And then go here, blah, blah, blah. I think you know what to do now. Just up. If you want, you can set up that jump. You don't really have to, but you can just come back here and 
make it here grab put a flare you're gonna need need it a bit and yeah here just riding jump you can set up for jump here if you want if not you just can't so you can set it up like this and grab just grab and you will be able to be good if not you can grab the agita on shimmy but it's pretty useless or you can do run jump one two three four step and jump and do the same thing and you're good here pull the lever just set up a jump if you want if not no problem fake grab uh, fake grab just grab and you're good so you can see that there are a lot of different strats for different places slower or faster you pick the one you want here it's pretty easy so i'm not entering too much to details uh i think you can even do something like this give me a second I think you can, if you are really not confident about doing a diagonal jump, you can do something like this. Yeah, you can do something like this. And then come back here, redo this part here, blah, blah, blah. So it's really free for you, convenience and comfortably, how comfortable you have to, to make this level on this area. And here is important. So, <laughs> Here you can just drop down, you can just go dev and drop down like this and just trigger the four blade guys. And if you do that, you, you're gonna pull the lever and you're gonna climb here. Well, actually, I think you don't pull the lever initially. Yeah, yeah, you don't, sorry, you don't pull the lever first. First of all, what you wanna do is you wanna kill the blade guys so to do that you just go here you can climb here and you're gonna kill the guys from here you're gonna wait until you can see them and etc it takes a lot of time and it can take some damage sorry i'm for, exa for example i'm really lucky and when they go away you just step down here and they're gonna come you the end because as as like i said they take lara's shadow as target so they should come back soon come on sometimes be careful because they can eat you on your count as you can see so yeah you, you can do that deal with a uh, fight here and that's it's not that it's bad it's just just long <laughs> it's just wrong and you lose damage and etc and yeah you kind of don't want that i'm just gonna check something just to be sure I, I don't really care about that just just checking something before can they shoot you from here yeah they can okay so that doesn't work okay so the strat I'm going to show doesn't work with, uh, with those, those Bartoli guys. But yeah, you can do that. Or you can also do it the... Oops. Well, whatever. You can also do it the hard way and just do this and fight them. If you feel like it. This is faster, but this is a bit more dangerous. What you have to know also is that you can also trigger jet guys if you go outside the, the cage, so also it's risky because of that. But it's faster, and yeah. So be careful about that. And then you trigger the jet guy, you go back here and kill them from distance. This one, this part is pretty easy. As you can see, it's long, and yeah, I don't recommend doing that part. I'm just showing you just to, in case you want to do it, and and yeah, just kill them, and you're good. And do that all over again for every enemies. Or you can actually skip the monks and kill 
quickly and safely the jet guys so how do you do that what you need to do is you need to go to jump here fake grab here and you skip here so you skip the trigger for the battle guys which is in front of this style here so here you just step down here and you're gonna you're gonna face only the jet guys and you're gonna skip one jet guy actually so you're gonna have to step on a specific tile to make them I I not being able to hit you so we have two safe spots first one is this here so this is a safe spot here this tile and this tile those are safe spot I recommend staying here though just in case they can eat you they can eat you they just don't try to and then you can shoot them from here as you can see it's pretty safe don't don't step on the tiles forward because you're gonna trigger this jet guy and you can avoid him so yeah so if you want to lower them again just go on this tile here and wait and they will come back to you and there also is another safe tile which is this tile here in the very very bottom of the room so here you can see they, they are not going to try to come to me also you triggered I think a guy behind me but whatever so as you can see they don't go go from to me so you can just go here and lure them oops and it's a bit slower to kill them but it's safer so I recommend using grenade launcher which will pass because it will be quicker than the M16 for this place. But yeah. So that's an option. So how do you do that? It's pretty simple. Oops. Oh, I didn't want to save. Oh no, don't tell me my save is far away. Oh damn it. Uh, okay, well, we're not gonna redo this whole part here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the drop down in the end of a level. Sorry, uh, because I saved, so I I can't show you how to drop down. I will show you in detail how to drop down uh, later after when we come back to the to the room here. But yeah, so you just jump here, go here, and just wait for them. That's the first part to kill the first two jet guy. And to lure them again, you can just go here. And they will naturally come back. And then pu go pull that lever here. And then you have two ways of killing the next guy. Two are, the twos are really easy. So the first one is the trigger of this guy is here. So you can just trigger him and go to this, this safe spot as well. So this is, this is the same safe spot except it's the other side. So you can kill him like this and just... kill him so it's no problem and then pull the lever or if you want to be a bit faster you can actually kill him by just shooting him so I don't I'm gonna try but I don't think you can step here without losing yeah you will lose damage if you do that that's what I thought so you can actually kill him really easily just do something like that so how do you do that it's pretty simple just draw your M16 here you, here just before the tile you stop, press forward and then just walk backwards and shoot him. Go a bit diagonal to not stop you, to not stop yourself here, because you would stop shooting and that's bad. So you want to go a bit on the side. And then you will kill him automatically without him being able to shoot you. So again, up, forward, and just step backward. And you're good. So this is this doorway and you're good. And then pull the lever that opens the door he wants and go on the side. Don't go in the middle or you're going to trigger the jet guy. 
store the tile for the jet guy so i think here you can yeah here you can it's it's this line that you don't want to touch this line here that you don't want to touch to avoid the, the trigger on the event, prepare your grenade launcher or whatever you want to kill the, this guy here. Don't really care about his drop. He drops a med on um, um, no, is it called auto, auto ammo, so you don't really need that at this point. Pick up this two shell, two, two shell, two pack of grenades if you want. Don't really need to. Um, unless you're really low on ammo, but at this point, with the secrets that you're gonna get um, in the end of this level, you are not going to need anything for uh, Dragon Slayer. So anyway, get to that lever, and when you're gonna pull it, you're gonna trigger the first two guys that you saw on the top, and there is an actually easy way to kill them without actually being in danger. You don't really need to fight them or whatever. You don't need to go down. You, you don't need to come back down and come back down there and climb uh, and climb where you have a safe spots. You don't need to do that. What you can just do is you can just draw the gun you want, not M16 preferably, and just jump here and jump, and you will be safe and you will be able to shoot them. Come back. You can roll if you want as well. And you're good. And sometimes where we go away, so if they go too far, just step roughly here and they will come back eventually. And just go here again. And then go away again. And then do that. So that's probably the most efficient way of killing them with being safe come here and yeah that's that's what you want to do so pretty pretty easy and efficient just just here what i recommend to do is just go here and just jump here Kill them, and when you can't see them or you can't target them again, just step here, wait until they come back, and do it again. So this spot is the best, in my opinion. So, yeah. Pull the lever. So I pressure do just that. And they are gonna come back. So don't use your M16, obviously, because obviously M16 you will shot like your shot rage by doing this strat here will be. Oh, actually it works. Okay, never mind. I thought it wouldn't work. Never mind. Okay, so M16 works as well. And yeah, you've killed those two guys by doing that, so it's pretty easy. Okay, so how do you do the drop that I showed you earlier? So this drop, I'm gonna show it again one more time this drop here and then go here so <coughs> you need to jump you can also do it the other way it's no problem but because you come from here it's easier so you need to jump as far as as close as you can to the to this part to the right of this tile here so that's what you need to aim for and you need to, you need to jump here if you realize that you jump, for example, too much left, what you can do is just do like, I just, like I'm just like i just doing and move by jumping. And when you're here, you just do the fake grab and you're good. If you jump to the too much right, I think you will go... Oh, no, that still works. Okay. So you can still do this until you reach the right, the good point. So this is a good point. You're eating the, the middle tile but you are on the very right of it so that's good you're going to be able to do a fake grab and you're good so this is the way if you want to make sure that you're on the very right you can just so here for example i'm oh that's going to be enough so 
If you want to make sure, you can try to grab if you're on the very right, but if you can grab, you will already be able to do um, to do the, the fake grab, so it's pretty much useless to grab here. Never mind. So you don't want to grab, just I'm here and just jump until you're in the right position and do fake grab. You can also do something like this. You can also go there. Just make sure that you are here. So as you can see, there is the limit of a tile here. So it means this is a good position. And just do a fake grab and you're good. So this is what happens if you are too much left. And then you trigger the, monk, the, the battle, guys. And yeah, you then you have to do it the other way. So what I recommend is just doing that personally, but you can also set it up like some some something like like this. Like this. Then you grab and you're good to go. So that's how you do it. And yeah. Pretty much it. And now we can finish the level. Don't forget the last secret of the game or you will kill yourself. Here you're grabbing one, two, three, four, five climbing, and you're able to do a jump twist here. Shimmy right once or twice if you want. This is enough. It doesn't look like it, but this is enough to make the next jump, don't worry. Here you, have, you can climb. If you, you can climb and if, if you stop here, so I don't know, there, there are texture here and here. So if you stop here, there is no texture between the, the clicks. So this is the tiles you, you want to, to think about. So if you stop at this one, Lara being on top of it, you can just do a jump and a jump here and climb again. So it saves two, three seconds. If not, you can just manually climb, it's no problem. But yeah, that's, that's what I personally I generally do. When you climb, there is this red, there is this texture here. So what I personally do, I climb until this one, and I know that I can jump twist. And that's what I do. So you can jump twist even though it doesn't look like it here. But if you if you are not sure, you can make it just shimmy right shimmy left and do the twist and you're good don't climb too high same at the start don't climb too high because if you climb too high and you try to do the thing that can happen first and here it's pretty much rip if, if you are here it's rip or, or, or also you can stumble against the ceiling for some reason so just just don't climb too too high just test things but if you do like i just did and said you won't have any trouble with that and then here you grab shimmy to the left and climb here so here at this spot here you can start jumping and do this and you will make it if you're not confident you can just climb manually most important is that you jump here jump left and you're good to go I saw some I saw someone do something like this all the way through and kill the monk. So you can do this, but as you can see you can get it anyway. So what I recommend personally to do is just you just go this, go this and just kill him like this. If you have enough health you don't even need to kill him. And then you're gonna get to the secret, so you don't really need to push that block or whatever. Just jump on the sides here. So you want to jump on the sides. Just be careful because all this tile in front of me are slopes and you will die if you eat them. And then go here, up. And then you need to go down on this one here. I don't think you can fake grab from here. Dump that. Can you fake grab here? Oh, you can fake grab here if you want, but don't recommend to. Just running jump here, drop down here, and you will be able to make that jump here. If you're not 
confident you can grab but don't worry you you won't get you won't stumble here and die to the to a fire and yeah go to get your secrets you can light fire if you want you can climb manually or just jump like this no problem and this is pretty much it get your secrets and go to the end and you've done it well you've done it you you, you got all secrets now just two levels remaining here you can just do a jump here you will lose a bit of health so be careful if not just drop down here safely like this and just drop down here no problem and here is probably the, the most stressful <laughs> jump of a game or something like that just you, you you want to do a jump like this you can grab here actually that's probably better for you if you're casual you can do it without actually grabbing what you have to do is this up and then you finish the level so what i recommend to do is just you, you go here you go sidestep on very right because there is a step here so you can sidestep further and just watch this watch in this direction and just do a running jump roll and grab and climb or don't grab if you're doing doing it right enough don't yolo it because it's if you yolo it or this, there is a high chance that something bad is gonna happen like this for example so don't yolo it just take your time here and you can also go to the edge here step back and do the roll here it's important that you stand and on the very right on the very left sorry because you can't jump from here if you jump from here you're dead because uh, the reason of that is because you're jumping from a higher position as you can see so this spot is higher than this spot and because of the ceiling in front of you it's gonna stop you from making that jump so yeah just do like this this and you're good uh, is there another way i'm not even sure <laughs> actually i don't know maybe you can do something like this let me see quickly you can make this jump maybe yeah you can also do it like this if you want i never seen anyone do it like like this but yeah you can also do that and we could we have done it we've done floating island and that's it next level is going to be dragon slayer if you have any question you can ask and yeah if you uh, i'm gonna drop two ways of doing the level and see you next time